I think he tried to do the right thing always. I think that history will be quite kind to him in his presidency. But for me, the thing I cared about was that he kept trying to be useful after he left the White House. And he befriended me. Then when the tsunami occurred, President Bush 43 to ask his father and me to work together to help raise money and highlight concern for it because it was a long way from America, but a quarter of a million people were killed. It was a disaster and it could have destabilized uh, Indonesia. So we we're flying over there and there's one bed and he made this suggestion that we split the time in the bed. And I said, no, no, we're not gonna do that. I said, you go sleep in the bed. I said, I've got 40 years of sleep deprivation. I can lean up against the wall and sleep. I'll be fine. I'll sleep on the floor. Somehow, I don't know, somehow it broke the ice. You never know, you know, when you just keep, we were like two people circling each other, wanting to reach out and shake hands and somehow the darn bed thing was the handshake. And then we worked together on Katrina. And it was, it was great what we did. We, we both raised money, what money we could for New Orleans. And it was extremely rewarding. And we were asked to go back and give a commencement speech at Tulane together, which was really quite wonderful. And in a world where everybody's just gutting each other all the time, I thought it was a good thing to show. It's been one of the great joys of my life, my friendship with him.